You think I killed Trina? I didn't say that. I said that I found a matching set of prints. One on a prayer book that belongs to you, and one on the candlestick. And your prints are obviously not on file, Father. But you'd like a sample? Yes. What could possibly make you think that I did this? There was something in the prayer book. Hearts are not had as a gift, but hearts are earned by those that are not entirely beautiful. That is a line from a W.B. Yeats poem. The poem may be Yeats, but the prayer book is yours. Well, I must have lent it to Trina at some point. And I'm sure that the fingerprints on the candlestick are mine. I noticed it was broken last week, so I fixed it. And a love letter? Well, I'm as surprised by that as you are. I always thought that the real love of Trina's life was her work. Hmm. Guess you didn't know her as well as you thought. Trina was pregnant. I typed all three cigarettes you found at the church. One of them had DNA belonging to your victim. Trina Ralston? The autopsy report shows no evidence that she was ever a smoker. Not to mention the fact that I found those cigarettes where the body landed. Well, maybe this will help. Same male donor on all three cigarettes. Huh. Did Dr. Hawks give you a paternity sample? Mm -hmm. Evidently, the father of Trina Rolston's child is a smoker. Hmm. You can't prove it was my child. Oh, yes, we can. We have your DNA on file. Oh, yeah. Two years ago, you were convicted of falsely reporting an incident. It means we have your DNA on file for the rest of your life. We also found your DNA on cigarettes outside the church. There's no smoking in the church. So I go outside. So you smoke three cigarettes in the exact same spot that we found Trina Ralston's body? Oh, Paul. We're here to help you. I know what the truth is. So do I, Paul. Your DNA was all over the cigarettes that I found at the scene. And somehow, one cigarette has Trina's DNA on it as well. I kissed her. Now, how does that thought process work? There's the mother of my child on the ground dead. I should probably call 911, but let me get a little action first. Does this look familiar to you? Where'd you get this? She collects evidence, Paul. That's her job. I'm gonna need to process you. Shirt. What about the prints from the candlestick? One belongs to Father Murphy, and part of his print appears to have dried in the superglue used to fix the break, which makes me believe that his story checks out. The other's a partial print. I have two points of reference that are in common with Paul Strzeski. Yeah, you could probably find two points of reference in common with my print, too. True. Found traces of drugs in his pants. What'd you find? No, he's on clozapine, or at least he should be. It's an antipsychotic. He's schizophrenic. And the father to be. That would explain a lot. Mm. Unfortunately, not enough. And we're out of evidence. I suppose at the end of the day, everything really is connected, isn't it? You found DNA on the soda can? You got a name? Stella Bonacera. Did you page me? I did. Oh, what do you have for me? A connection to this from the can Mac found at the Ridgeway. A DNA sample came back to the man you have in custody. Paul Strzewski? How does your suspect get in my case? <sighs> Looks like it's our case.